Lucas Media. So Stefan Marbury uh, was talking about Bronny James, and he has some things to say. Quote: Bronny James is a pro. You can't go by stats with him right now because he's only playing half the game. His ability to shoot, get to the rim, pass and block shots is a grade A. Now, this is Stephon Marbury, multiple time NBA All Star, um, New York City basketball legend, former for Georgia Tech uh, guard. Now, here's my thoughts, right? I kind of agree, you know, with Stephon Marbury. But my question is, Steph, does he need to stay in two years in school like how you did? Because at this moment, at this moment, March 7th, 2024, Bronny James is not ready for the NBA in most people's opinions. And I'm sorry, we can give our opinions about him. You know, he's not in middle school no more. These are high, I mean, these are college young adults so they can be graded and yeah you see you know you see him um the abilities to shoot where is he shoot i'm not seeing Bronny create his own shots like that yes he's a heck of a defender i give him that you can tell he's he gives 100 percent effort but i'm not seeing Bronny create his own shots like that and i'll be trying to watch every game you know yeah, he'll hit a three here and there, but are you really seeing Bronny just, you know, crossing somebody up, getting past somebody, going through uh, three or four defenders and getting to the bucket? I haven't seen it yet, at least. Bronny seems like almost where he wants to pass it. He's like a really good team player where he wants to pass the ball, and that's cool. But I wish that all these people, like, LeBron's obviously going to probably opt in and get some type of multi-year deal with the Lakers. Let's get Brody one or two more years. Stefan, you wasn't a one and done. You didn't come right out of high school. Alan Iverson didn't come right out of high school. And I mean, honest, John Morant didn't come right out of high school. These are multiple. These are guards. You know? Um, it's rare that people are one and done or come out of high school and they excel. Like, it's okay. We live in an era now that if you got to wait two years or three years or even four years to go to pros, it's like it's a slap against you or a knock against you, Let me should I say. But what about people like Dame Time? You know? What about Kenya Martin, the former number one overall pick for your player? You know? And a lot of people going to disagree with this, but look at Obi Toppin. You know, four-year player or whatever. Um, or he was at least, of, I think he was at least 23. Like, yeah, is he a superstar? No. You know, but he made it to the league. Um, what's his name? I think he played for Phoenix. Is it Cam Johnson? He played at North Carolina. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I think he was 23 when he went to the NBA. And he signed a mega a, a multi-million dollar deal. Everybody peaks at... A certain time you know this is what I tell even my son it doesn't matter if you're the best high school football player in the country you want to be the best college football player and then you want to get to the next level after that if you choose to and you want to be the best NFL player you want to peak at the right time and some people are one and done and some people are A four-year player. A three-year player. As much as I was a huge fan of John Wall. And John Wall was one and, was a one and done. Look at Damian Lillard. Like I just said again. Dame time. Look at Clay Thompson. Hell, even Steph Curry took him three years. So everybody, we just need to relax, man. Just give the kids some time. You know, he had a health scare. It's not that deep. You know, let's just give the kids some time. You know, and, and as critical as I am on Bronny, and it's really the people that's probably put a battery in the in the back saying that you can average, you know, four or five points to be a a one and done at a USC. It's not like he at Kentucky or Duke. 
I'm rooting for Bronny. I want to see Bronny go to the league and dominate. I really do. But I just wish that some of y'all would just give the kid a chance. Give him some time to mature. John Morant had an incredible freshman year at Murray State, but then he went back, and that's when he became the number two overall pick. And arguably, you can say he had a better career than Zion so far. So I just want to get my quick thoughts on it, man. Let's just let's just give Bronny some time. But tell me what y'all think.